Well, good day to you, church. This is the weekly video blog update for this coming weekend service, which is March 27th. On this Sunday, we are going to finish up our First Steps series with a look at forgiveness from Matthew 18. Forgiveness is a very interesting topic to discuss. And Matthew 18 is one of those chapters in Scripture that has been misused and misdescribed, in essence being mistaught, for several, several years. The passages in there are very instructive in a specific situation, but sometimes they get broad use. And there are phrases in there that, that I hear a lot used that uh, don't reflect the intent of what that passage was meant to address. So we're going to really look at that in general. And we want to look at forgiveness. And we want to answer a few questions about forgiveness for us. How should the believer learn to forgive another? Why should the believer learn to forgive another? Is forgiveness an easy process? Something that just requires somebody to say, I forgive you and it's over? Or is it a longer process that takes more time to work through? Recovering from a situation where somebody has hurt your feelings or has done something that disturbed you that wounded you in a way may take a little bit of time to recover from. And you've heard phrases like forgive and forget. Are we really supposed to forgive and forget? Is it even possible to forgive and forget? We're going to hit all of these things on Sunday so that we will come to an understanding of what our role is in forgiveness as a believer in Jesus Christ. It is going to be an interesting weekend as well because we have our first men's Bible study on revealing the end times Saturday here at the church. I'm looking for a large group of people to come to be able to talk about the end times. And a lot of people outside of our, our church uh, will come to this event. So it's, a, it's an opportunity for the men of the church to step up and to host others from the community and engage in a conversation that I'm sure will be riveting. The scriptures are littered with passages about the future that have yet to be fulfilled in our timeline. The Old Testament says so many things about the time to come, but how do we put all that together where we can look for where we are now in 2022 and what should we expect to come? between now and the time that Jesus shows up again. You know, should we be looking for specific signs? Are there, are there things that we should see in the world that lead us to an understanding of how close we are to the end times? It's going to be a great discussion for us. And so, men, I look forward to seeing you there to, uh, tomorrow here at the church at uh, 10 a.m. Saturday morning. So that's the video update for this weekend. Looking forward to seeing you guys this weekend with smiles on your faces as we have a good time together talking about forgiveness. We'll see you Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. Love you guys.